Have you ever wondered how Apple's famous digital assistant Siri got its name? It's a name that millions of people say every single day. Hey Siri! But behind that simple two-word phrase lies a fascinating story of creativity, language, and even a little bit of coincidence. The origin of Siri's name is not just about branding or technology. It's a glimpse into how Apple's culture and design philosophy shape even the tiniest details of their products. So, let's dive deep into how Siri got its name and the surprising story behind it. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. Before we talk about the name itself, Let's rewind a little bit and understand where Siri came from. Siri wasn't originally an Apple creation. In fact, it started as a project from a company called Siri Incorporated, which was founded in 2007 by Dag Kitlaus, Adam Chire, and Tom Gruber. The technology behind it came from research at the Stanford Research Institute, part of a DARPA-funded artificial intelligence project known as Kalo short for Cognitive Assistant That Learns and Organizes. The goal was to create a virtual assistant that could learn from users, understand natural speech, and help organize their lives. Basically, a futuristic AI helper long before it became mainstream. Now, Dog Kitlaus, one of Siri's co-founders, is the person most directly responsible for the name. And interestingly, the story of how he chose the name Siri is not what you might expect from a high-tech Silicon Valley startup. Kitlaus has said in several interviews that he wanted a name that was short, easy to spell, and simple to say in multiple languages. He also wanted it to sound friendly, approachable, and human, not robotic or complicated. After all, the idea of a digital assistant that talks back to you could easily seem cold or mechanical. The name needed to break that barrier. So where did the word Siri actually come from? Well, it turns out that it's a Norwegian name, and it has a beautiful meaning. In Old Norse, Siri is derived from Sigrid, which roughly translates to beautiful woman who leads you to victory. Dag Kitlaus, who happens to be Norwegian himself, was fond of the name because it carried this elegant and empowering meaning. According to him, he actually knew someone in Norway named Siri and always thought it would make a great name for a child, or in this case, a smart assistant that helps you conquer your daily challenges. Here's the funny twist. When Kitlas and his team were brainstorming names, they considered many options. But Siri stood out because it was short, crisp, and worked well internationally. It was easy to pronounce in English, European languages, and even in some Asian languages. That's a rare trait for a tech brand name. Many companies struggle to find names that sound good globally. But Siri had that linguistic simplicity that Apple is known for. But wait, how did Apple get involved? Well, in 2010, Apple acquired Siri Incorporated for around $200 million. Steve Jobs personally invited Dag Kitlaus to meet with him. And not long after, Apple decided that this AI-powered voice assistant would be integrated into the iPhone. The first public appearance of Siri as an Apple product was in October 2011, when Apple launched the iPhone 4S. That S in iPhone 4S, by the way, many believe unofficially stood for Siri. It was a milestone moment. Apple had just introduced one of the first truly intelligent voice assistants to the consumer world. Now here's something interesting. When Apple bought Siri, Kitless wasn't sure they'd keep the name. Apple had a long history of changing product names to fit their sleek branding style. But to his surprise, Steve Jobs liked the name Siri so much that he decided to keep it. 
Jobs reportedly felt it was short, memorable, and had that human, personal feel that Apple wanted. And just like that, Siri became part of Apple's iconic product family, right next to the iPhone, iPad, and Mac. What's fascinating about the name Siri is that it fits Apple's entire philosophy. Apple products often have simple, friendly, almost human-like names. Think of Mac, Air, iPod, and HomePod. Siri continues that pattern. It feels like you're talking to a real person. The name also avoids feeling too futuristic or intimidating. Imagine if Apple had called it something overly technical like iAssistant or Voice Command Pro. It just wouldn't have the same warmth or personality. Siri sounds approachable, almost like a companion. And that's exactly what Apple wanted. There's also a touch of irony in the story. Dag Kitlaus once said that he originally planned to name his daughter Siri, but his wife didn't agree, so he used it for the AI project instead. So, in a way, Siri became the digital daughter he never had. Little did he know that this name would go on to become a household word, spoken by hundreds of millions of people every day. Today, Siri has become much more than just a voice assistant. It's part of the Apple identity. Whether you use it to set reminders, check the weather, or ask random questions, Siri has a personality that makes technology feel a bit more human. Over the years, Apple has added humor, emotion, and even cultural awareness to Siri's responses. It's no longer just a voice command system, it's a character. And that character begins with the name. So the next time you say, hey Siri, think about it for a moment. Behind that simple word lies a story of language, design, and human creativity. It's a name that bridges the gap between technology and personality. A name born from Norwegian roots, chosen by a visionary entrepreneur, and embraced by one of the world's most influential tech companies. Siri isn't just an AI. It's a symbol of how human our technology can feel when we give it a name that speaks to us. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.